Good morning and welcome to Fishing with CJ. And today we're out on the boat. And with me today is Harvey and Harvey Plum and Jade Array. So hopefully Harvey's brought the luck of the Plumsteads with him. And we're going to yeah. see some big fish. And uh, yeah, now the weather forecast is perfect today. It's beautiful, very little wind, blue sky, sunny. And then I got up, <laughs> started driving down the marina, and what was I confronted with? Fog. Bloody fog. Hopefully that's going to burn off. We're just waiting for the tide to fill up. We're probably just about to get out now, actually. Um, it, it was a bit high and dry when we first got here. So we're just sorting the boat out, get ready to go, and then we will get out and we'll get fishing. But uh, let's get Wally life jacketed up, get the engine down, and uh, let's get fishing. <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> Only, only the fucking Harvey Plumstead could come out mackerel fishing and catch a bloody soul. Got a soul. Got a soul. We got soul. Ah. Oh, oh, he's on the. It's on the jig. On the jig. Fowl looked on the jig, didn't he? A little tongue. Yeah. Oh. Bait. But. We're going to take him as bait because he's been damaged by the hook. Oh yeah. And as a tote bait, because they come round, they, they when they're on the scale of the wrecks, they're looking for dabs. Nice <laughs> one. <laughs> That's the skunk out of the boat. <laughs> well, we've drifted the whole length of the west arm. The water is clarity is really bad, to be honest. Um, the trouble is that the fog visibility ain't great either, but once we get to the end of this drift, I think what we'll do is we will head out, um, like take a cautious steam out to where we're going. Uh, it's a bit deeper water there, water will be clear, clearer, hopefully find some mackerel there and uh, hopefully find some pollock. So that's what we'll do, we're nearly there. Um, I will put the camera back on if we start catching mackerel, but I don't think we are because the water is like pea soup. 
really not very pleasant so you turn around the camera so you can see it yeah, look at that water pea green yeah. Yeah. No, it's, you know, no, it's all you probably can't see your feathers as soon as they go in the water so if there are mackerel there the chances are that they're not going to see you see the jigs anyway so uh, so yeah as I say I'll put the camera back on if something happens clear up, mate. Sorry? Clear it up, is mate. clearing up a bit the visibility is getting better I mean I can see a boat way up over there now uh, you know, as we came out here earlier on, there was a boat in front of us, I didn't see it. Yeah, okie dokie! Well, you have to say, there are not many days of the year that you see the sea like this. It's a real glass off. Beautiful. Let's turn the camera around so you can get a good look at it. Look at that, amazing, amazing. Right, well I better get back to the steering wheel, but I just thought I'd share that with you and I'll let you have a look at that, it's beautiful. The, the fog is lifting up now, so so you can see that it's probably, the bottom of the fog is at 20 or 30 feet, but there's now big holes appearing in it. So we're gonna be in brilliant blue sunshine soon, blue skies, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I do when I'm mackerel fishing. Okay, so we've got the mackerel set up. I've got a flasher on the bottom of that. It might be a little bit like this flasher, but we'll give it a go. And basically, I let it free, free reel it and then go count down. So one, two, three, it's a bit slow that flasher. Four, five, six, we'll go down 10. Eight, nine, 10. Then just work, work the jig. Because the mackerel are not going to be on the bottom, they're going to be up near the surface. Yeah, we might want to put a heavier jig on than this, actually, it's a bit light. And then if you don't get anything at six, let it down another one, two, three, four, five, and then again, working that jig. So we'll put a heavier jig on this, it's, not, it's a bit too slow. If, if, let's have a go with Harvey's. Uh, Harvey's got a heavier jig on it. No. Oh, this is not particularly heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And and the, the reason for counting down is that once you start getting mackerel, you know what depth they're at. You go back to that depth each time. But we do need to have heavier weights on these, these aren't heavy enough. They were all right when we were in the shallow there. No, just get it worth it while I, while I sort some out. Right, wind up. Yeah. yeah, but you have got to work the rods. You, you, you will pick up mackerel without working the rods, but um, normally one or two so to get a whole string full. I've got two, why two, two lots in here. That's why you've got so many folks. So many, yeah, well, let's hopefully we get a string full. <laughs> right, so let it down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom, and then work it. And because you've got a heavier jig on, the feathers are going down fast as well. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Yeah. That feels better. Yeah. So that's the way to do it. <laughs> that's the way I do it. Well, that's the way to do it. We haven't caught any yet. But we will. We will. Positive. Positive vibes. Get them around themselves. A big jellyfish down there. Oh. Go on and keep coming. If you've got a whole string of them, they're way. They will way. Woohoo! Oh, just one. No, three. Nice little ones on the bottom. Wicked. Right, right. So what I need you to do is hold on to... Mind you, don't get a hook in your hand. Oh, never. Yeah, the heavy jig definitely helps. You're definitely right. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. 
yeah, just keep keep them under, under control for a minute. Okay. I was about 12 seconds. 12 seconds then? Yeah, and I was doing it like nothing. Though. Yeah. Just, we just, uh, there was two sets of mackerel feathers here combined together. It was just too much. Um, I don't remember doing it. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, we've got some bait. That's all right. It's good. It's right, you ready? You ready? Hold, you're holding on. Well, so far, the only person that's caught anything is Harvey. <laughs> He's had a soul and some mackerel. Jay, you're not earning your keep, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. What we could do, maybe, is we keep one rod rigged up for mackerel feathers. We'll rig the other rod up for pollock fishing. Yeah. And we'll take it in turns going over the wreck. One of your mackerel fishing, one of your um, um, jigging. So that's what I'm kind of setting them up. I'll set my rod. I've got my red set up, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, I've got that. You got, you got, you, you're set up to go, eh? Yeah. Um, so if, if you want to, I'd rather use the rod that Harvey's got as the one for Pollock. All right. Yeah, so if you need that one set up as, as mackerel, Harvey, if you bring your one up. Fish on! What, lost your gear? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, that's unfortunately, wreck fishing is a hungry, is a tap, oh, it's waking up, this fish is. You need a net? Um, might, might do. Yeah, yeah well hooked it is. Here it comes, little pollock. Now, I don't, I don't need that, it'll be right. Hey. Little pollock. Hey. Oh, man. We might take, keep a few of these little pollock if we're putting in the rubby sack as well, actually. Might get away with one more drift. One more drop. Back along. Into mackerel. Right, when she when she come up, stay up. We'll go around again. Dave's fishing for green piece. <laughs> Is it catch and release? Still on top of the wreck. Fish on! Ooh, good fish on! Fish on! Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Looks like it. <laughs> Got a pollock. Here you go. You need that? Uh, not yet. It might just be a pollock that they go quite hard initially, but. Yeah. What the water? It doesn't matter. No, no, because we're not we're not going live baiting. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Needs to go in. Needs to go in. It's not a long way to come up yet. Yeah, quite a good lunge that. It's still going. Yeah. Every so often. World class pouting. <laughs> okay. There he is. Got the colour. I'll, I'll tell you if I, if I need the net. See how well hooked he is. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, he's well hooked, I think. Yeah, he's well hooked. He's well hooked, sorry. <laughs> I'm just a bit wary. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. a good it's idea. Better to 
Yes. <laughs> I was just just showing Harvey how to do it. <laughs> and landed on a fish's head. <laughs> Didn't feel like a pollock. It might be a pouting or something like that. But... Oh, yeah. Mackerel. Mackerel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mackerel. on a jig. All right. It's a fish anyway. Yeah. He weren't coming off, was he? Yeah, he was Oops, sorry, squirting shit all over you. Oh, what's these mackerel fellas doing here? I thought Harvey's. Oh, yes, he's too rock, is he? But that, that's the idea. <laughs> Get the idea now. But don't, I mean, we're going to. I'll use them. I'll Are you going to use them, eh? I'll work them on that. All right, okay, well, I was going to give up mackerel, so I think we've got enough mackerel. Yeah, yeah. We'll go to another wreck if we can't All get right. a, cup, a, a decent it. pollock or something. Um, you me, got, uh, yeah, there you go. Off. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, for mackerel feathers, that's what you need. Yeah. The little ones, they, they just end up in a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yes. Um, might have something to eat. Yeah, I quite good at the old uh, on the racks. Yeah, I've done it a lot for a lot of years. I mean, I'm not um, as good as. Jim Whippy would be maybe, but uh, you just you, you know it's like on the beach you get six cents. You know I'll be looking at rod tip and you'll be going you got a bite, have I? Because yeah. you got that you got that six cents you kind of feel it rather than see it. Yeah. Mm. I knew I was going to catch some fish up though. I really believed it. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? You, you just know. I was like fishing with doodles of crab, I was like, I've got to get one in a minute. You know, I had two raids on the bounce. Yeah. That was funny when I filmed you and I, and I said, your dad's had a raid, and I'll be 39, mine's 40. <laughs> <laughs> but then he went out about four more of them. Yeah, hammer. Yeah. yeah. They didn't come out to this one then. Sorry? They didn't come out to this one. No, they were they, they, they were there, so we we I've changed the wreck. Yeah, they right, were going to the one where we were going. I thought you were heading one way then. Right, get down. We're there. We're there, baby. Right, wreck is just starting to show underneath us now. Let's live dangerously, get down on the wreckage. Right, I'm on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, let me get that weight out of the way. And let's feel the lure being picked up there. Oh, yeah. Fish on? Yeah. Right. Harvey's got fish on. That's Sorry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Harvey's got fish on. I think it just came off. No? I think it just came off. Oh, no. No. Fish as well. Oh well. <laughs> That's why it's called fishing. Not catching. Yeah, but actually, don't don't go down again. Stay up because we'll go around again because we're off the back of the wreck now. Oh, As I said, oh, it's not that. Yeah. He's not going to come over here. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to poke your fish. You drop it, I'll get it. Yeah, we're oh, off nice off the back of the wreck there. Right, so Sir Harvey's just lost, hooked and lost the fish. Um, we're off the back of the wreck. It's, this wreck lies across the tide, so literally you're over the top of it and then that's it. It's not like some of the wrecks that lie longitudinally that um, you can drift the length of. So uh, it, it, the benefit of it is it's easier to get the drift right because I can just hit it anywhere on the wreck. But um, the downside is, it, is it's all over there quick. We'll go around again and we'll have another go with Harvey getting that fish. So we steam back round again. We're up tide of the wreck. The tide is getting very slack now. We, we will probably move on to my final destination pretty soon. Uh, maybe have a couple of drifts on that. 
on the last bit of the uh, Shwebi flowing flood. And then when it turns around at the ebb, we'll drop the anchor because that's why I want to fish in the scour of this wreck on the ebb. So we've got a wreck, we've got a wreck coming up. No, we're still a little way off it. Drift is really slow now. Today is going to be one of those days where you actually see the drift and then the boat stop and start going back the other way. I love that when I see that. Not a breath of wind. I've got friends coming down from the Midlands next week. I hope it's like this. Yeah. Well, Monday, Monday, they, they're coming down, they're traveling down on the Monday. The Monday looks all right, but uh, the forecast showed a little bit of wind in the evening. I hope it's not a port end of some weather coming. Right, wreckage is not far away now. Now, I love, I love these um, head, lead-headed lures that I use because you, hit, you feel your lead hit the bottom and then you wind up 10 wines or whatever. I use quite a long trace. And I feel the, the, the lead head lifting as well. So I know I'm in contact with it. And that's uh, drift lures and um, sandy andies. I find that with it works beautifully. Yeah. yeah. You fish on? Fish on. Woo. Fish on. Decent fish? Decent fish. Hi, Jada Ray. Decent. Decent. I've done the 10 mine thing then. And All right. As soon as you said that. And the wreckage is just starting to come up. Yeah, wreckage underneath us now. Let's get a triple hook up. Yeah, then I lost it. Oh, Jake. Yeah, we've all lost one now. Haven't we? Yeah. No, I ain't. No. Nope. Pouting. Probably, right. Probably a pollock. Pollock. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean they blow out, so it. Could be, the start, yeah. yeah. Nice one, though. Well, not as big as yours, but it's all right. All good, still yeah. a good fish. Yeah, well, unless you're going to keep it for the table, we'll, we'll bring him back. Yeah, I'll keep him. I like pollock, yeah. yeah. But you can put them in, put them in, put them in the live bait tank, actually. What are you using on there now, G? I went to a little minnow. Alright, okay. A little hit as we come off the back of the wreck then, but it might have been pouting. We'll go around, we'll do one more. No, sorry, let's go to the where we're going now. So we get a bit of a drift there, because the tide will be going slack soon. We're gonna we're gonna steam up to the final oh <laughs> that's why I'm not getting any fish. And it's one of the problems when the tide starts going slack that your uh, your lines do get tangled up on the way down. So I have to unpick that. We'll steam up to where we're going. I'll do that while you on. Yeah? yeah I'll oh, do okay, that. cool. Thank you. It's not, it's not, it's not tight, no, it's, it's just loose. Just, uh... yeah. Right. Camera on when something happens. Oh well, it might be pollock yeah, sometimes. Yeah. A little pollocks give you a big wallop and then they just come up like a pouting. All right, so Jay's into a fish. Having broken my favourite rod. <laughs> Could be a bass. It's, it's, it's away from the boat. No, oh, it's coming, isn't it? Looks like a but looks like a pout into yeah. me. Take care of the live bait tank. <laughs> it's a arse ripped.
<laughs> my bait. Lovely bait. Lovely sized bait. Uh, no, we're off the wreck now, so say hold it and we'll go around again. <laughs> Anything special might, might just be a pouting. Oh, it's still going. But I think it's pouting. Coming up pretty easy. Has a little tug every so often though, so it's a pouting. <laughs> if there is such a thing <laughs> as a better pouting. But you, mate, are going in the rubby sack. That's where you're going. Yeah, that's better. Got a fish on? Yeah. Hmm? Rash. Yeah. Rash. Oh, good. Oh, species. Yeah. Well, I haven't got one from the oh, species. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, baby. Oh, I've redeemed myself. Yeah, you have. Then. Yeah, we need to get a picture of that for the species. Right. Let me hold him. Uh, can I hold him on that? Yeah. Can mm -hmm. take the picture? Well, you, what I need is a, I need you to get a picture with that yeah, in the background. Sort of redeemed myself. you got some crab, haven't you? Yeah. Jay, can we put it on this camera as well? Yeah. Has. Bal and Rass. Nice one. Yeah. Not a bad size. Yeah, not a bad size at all. Get him back. Okay. He'll go back. He's just a bit blown, but he might go back. Whoa, yeah, and he's away. Off. He's gone down like a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, use the rods, use the rods. So pull, pull up on the rod and then wind as you lower it. <laughs> you still got it? Yeah. Oh, I just had a touch on the. Well, I Yeah, I waited. I waited to the, to the moment to, to swap over for you. Whoa, nice one. Nice one. I turn around and show. I'm in. 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 I'm in.
all happening. It's all happening. Oh, I've just got a pouting on the jig. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it might be. Cloud of pouting down there, so as I say, keep them to the, they'll mush them up into the into the, into the stink bucket. Yep. Stinky horrible things, and they stink alive. Really yeah. Really nice well, you still we're still over the wreck, so it's worth yeah. worth trying. Yeah. Going over it really slow, it's really good. Isn't well, it? yeah. I mean, we are. You, what we'll see is actually probably on this drift, you might see us start drifting back again. Good. You've almost got to bump the bottom of it. Yeah. I think on this bit of the wreck here, that's not such a problem. It's because it's more of a sandbank than lots of twisted metal. I mean, I wouldn't drag it along the bottom. But as soon as it hits the bottom, wind it up and jig it. I've never don't think I've ever had a decent fish jigging. You know, lots of people swear by it. Well. Yeah. Was that jigging or was that with a rubber? It was with a rubber like you got there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like the one you got on there. Well, it, yeah, we know it was a yellow one, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, well, we, we've dropped the anchor now. Um, we're just waiting for the tide. The tide is actually swinging us around the direction we want to be, but very, very slowly. Um, the water is, is so calm that actually you can see the white bait topping in, in the smooth smooth patches. Um, don't look like they're being chased by anything. Just, they're just there feeding on surface stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to rig up an uptide rod. And whack that out, and then maybe get a camera camera thing down. Hmm. Get the upside rod sorted out. You got a bite on there, Jay? Uh, All oh, right. Right, it's going to bring the upside rod up to so see if I've got anything on it. But it feels like there's a fish on it, actually. Not fighting. It's dog fishing. Oh yeah, I can see it. Ooh, quite a big dogfish. Uh, wouldn't be fishing if there weren't any dogfish. Bye, Mr. Dogfish. And away. Yeah, you know, it's one that's got slightly longer wires in it. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to tape, put some tape around the Gemini nose piece just to hold the wires in so they can't spring out. I don't really want them breaking out. So that's the plan. take that end off this is the beauty of the Gemini things everything is swap you can swap and change about so we'll put that end 
onto, yeah, so you can swap these ends over. So I'm going to put this end onto the weight that I was using, which is a heavier weight. And, uh, but it's going to give it longer wire, so it'll grip it better. And I had these standoffs that, that make them, the lead further away from the grip wires. The idea being it gives a bit more leverage to help hold it in the bottom. Just like that. Here we go. Rebake this up and whack it out. Now, I, I don't know if you saw my last video from Costa Rica where we were boarded by an armed co a Coast Guard team looking for cocaine smugglers, but we're now being observed from a distance by the uh, Coast Guard helicopter. He's, he's over there. Um, you won't see him on the camera, but he's definitely flown round us and sitting off watching us through binoculars, I'm guessing. Perhaps I am Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got a bite on the outside rod now. So, uh, let's get here. Um, I can see it on the camera. On the camera, I can see the upside. So, there's the upside rod going up there. You can see here's the bite still going. The sections are soggy. But, uh, I got. Oh, I got a bite as well. Yeah, well, that bake bag is starting to look at that. 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 Look at I had a bite on the camera rod, and I, and I left it, I bet there's no bait on there now. Definitely got a bite on that side. Let's bring up the upside rod. Just got to be dogging. You never know, you never know what he's doing. Oh, God. It ain't fighting, oh, and it ain't a white in. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh, Keep saying it wouldn't be fishing if they weren't dogfish. You wouldn't be dogging either. <laughs> yeah. Although the, my jury is out on the circle hooks, you have got to admit they do hook the dogfish in the corner of the mouth so they're not such a problem getting off the hook.
it's like a pulley lever, so we actually cast the down tire with a good rig. Let's bring up the uh, underwater camera, Steve. There's something on here. Oh, there's definitely something on here. It'd be nice to, like, if the fish would actually get hooked for once yeah. on my hooks. Yeah, yeah. It seems yeah, to see that you're Rob. If, well, what we'll do is we'll put all of the underwater footage on, on at the end of the video. So if you want to watch it to the end, then you can see what what's been robbing my bait. Hello. Hello. It's got a mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> Carnivorous, the bloody cannibalistic mackerel. <laughs> I think that picked a hook up on the way up, actually. Because they're here. Yeah. Simple bait. <laughs> Put it down as a live bait. Good. Robbing mm. all the fish. I've had loads of bites. You're robbing them all. Mm. Well, this will be interesting if this is on film. I think it's probably another doggy. Fish on there? Yeah, I think so. Go for that. It took me long enough. Feels well heavy on this rod. <laughs> I know, you've got a big weight on there, remember? Yeah, I've got a big weight yeah. A little white and <laughs> bit of a doggy you can tell by the way like the yeah it's going round and round the, yeah yeah I can see it yeah there he is eel no, it's no, it's a doggy. So they for a second they look like eels, don't they? They did. Oh, that's a good oh, didn't want to be dragged by the skull into a boat, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Well, Harvey's managed to catch a fish. We can all go home now. <laughs> Yay! Yay! There we go. Dog fish in the boat. Right, we, we're going to pack up. Uh, we're going to start heading in. Um, possibility we might see some bass working on the surface because there's loads of white bait up on the surface. Um, there are goals working over in that direction there, but it's the wrong direction really, so we don't want to be heading away from port. We want to be heading back. So get our gear in and uh, yeah, I think we've had pretty quite a good day. We've had pollock, dogfish, harass. Um, the uh, target species was not achieved, so there was no music and no dancing. Um, but uh, yeah, good day out of sea. If something happens, if we run into the bass on the way back, I'll put the camera on. But if not, I'm going to say sayonara to all of you and uh, catch you on the next one. And say cheerio to Harvey, right. and then just turn it around. It's Harvey. Say cheerio, Harvey. Cheerio. <laughs> and Jada Ray. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Catch you later. The top water lures and they just yeah. smash it. And it's so fun on them little rods. They've got a bass underneath there. Yeah. Fucking hundreds of them down there. Oh, it's not, it's not a bad it's fish, actually. Well. Not a bad fish. Ready? Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Nice. That's a nice fish. There's a the camera's not on me. <laughs> I'm over here, I'm over here. I'm over here. Look, 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 look. On the top water lure. Ow, spike me. Laughing <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes, keep him, him or putting him back? Put yes, him back. Keep, yeah. him. keep him? Keep him. Do you think that's 42? Yeah, easy. I know the sign was given. It's in the way you move and in the sound of your heart. We tend to fall together. Fall in love and still In the end we'll fall apart So as hope is that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time for you so stay a bit longer Just a little time For you and I Until it's over Just a little time I think that we got blinded Cause when it's good, it's great So we can't see we're fading away So this hope is that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time 